One of the outputs of the three-year program implemented by FAO and the government of Madagascar in response to the locust plague which prevailed in Madagascar from 2012 to 2016 is the construction of a warehouse at Tuliar for the storage of pesticides, including biopesticides and the management of empty drums. This warehouse has been built to meet international standards established jointly by FAO and WHO for pesticide storage and management. It has been funded by France, Japan and the Malagasy government. The construction of, uh, of a pesticides warehouse was absolutely crucial because the, the existing facilities for the storage of pesticides in Madagascar were completely obsolete. So we needed to design a new safe and secure infrastructure in order to safeguard the health, and, uh, the, the health of the population and also the, the environment. Indeed, pesticides are potentially hazardous products during both handling and storage. To reduce the risk of contamination, the pesticide warehouse was established in a zone devoted to industry and craft, and a number of measures were taken for its architecture. Among the most significant measures is the presence of a raised platform, upon which are built the elementary storage units and the working areas. Thus, pesticides are not in contact with the ground in the event of an accident, especially during sensitive operations such as drum loading and unloading. Furthermore, this platform houses a system of collection ponds. This system provides additional safety in the exceptional case of a massive pesticides leak, preventing ground infiltration and contamination. This platform also plays an essential role in the delimitation of spaces, creating a sort of mandatory path to preserve workers' safety and health. Indeed, to move from the clean zone to the potentially contaminated working area and vice versa, workers must pass through a transit zone where they put on and remove their personal protective equipment. Finally, the roof's slopes of the buildings were oriented according to the prevailing winds in the region, which is also exposed to cyclones. This can also allow the installation of solar panels. Furthermore, the warehouse has been built by adopting innovative solutions that take into account the particular context of Madagascar. La sfida the most important and ambitious challenge the project tried to cope with was to combine highly technical services, mainly from an environmental point of view, with high standards in terms of control of risks and potential problems. Match these requirements with the use of technical solutions, materials and products that are locally available and you get a warehouse that's very easy to construct and potentially to duplicate. Beyond architectural solutions, the warehouse has been equipped with a drum crusher allowing cleaning and crushing of empty metal drums. These are reduced to the size of a wafer to prevent local populations from reusing these contaminated containers for domestic purposes, as it is often the case in poverty-stricken areas. Finally, international experts provided staff training to raise awareness on good management practices for a pesticide warehouse. This new pesticide warehouse will help to ensure safer locust control in Madagascar with regards to human health and the environment. Thanks to its simple building, 
Let us hope that this innovative architectural and functional model, easily reproducible in a wide range of contexts, will serve as an example for the construction of pesticide warehouses in the future.